The Uno cards is just a simple way to help show young people, actually show a community, how bullying um, is, is really delivered. It's four key components to bullying. Um, so I use the word Uno, one word game, to reflect upon bully and bullying, a one word problem. So the red card just symbolizes that of physical bullying. So it gives it a color. So people can identify it as, I had a physical incident with my child, another child, right? Um, the blue represents verbal. The words flow from people's mouths. The green represents isolation. When someone isolates someone from a table, keeps them out of a game, maybe a position of employment at the adult level. So oftentimes we think of isolation as something where they didn't get something that everybody else did, you know? So I use the color green because oftentimes it's adults. It's monetary. But for young people, it's just, you know, something they consider very unfair. And the yellow card reflects all the uh, virtual means of bullying, cyberbullying, you know, text messages, internet websites, you know, falsified pictures, rumors, things like that, that are being used via a virtual means. So when you can talk about these four different things that oftentimes get mashed together in a, in a conversation, and people are like, okay, what are we still talking about? We can separate. But if a family were to sit down with the young people or a teacher were to sit down with his or her class, they could actually clearly define the different types so that we know what we're talking about. And at what point somebody pushing someone goes from being an incident of just one time to repetitive, which becomes bullying. So that's really what we want to engage the conversation. So it's a lot of different ways that we can use UNO cards to kind of frame out helping young people understand the purpose of this game is to get rid of all your cards. The purpose of the game for me as it relates to bullying is how do we help kids get rid of bullying.